Hi everyone, Effie here. Today I'm going to show you how to layer our new Hello Hummingbird stamp set. So first I'm just going to introduce the set to you. This is how it's going to come. So it's a seven layer or seven step hummingbird set. You have the three pieces of the body that you're going to stamp first and then you have the green feathers and then two steps for the ruby throat. And as with most of our layering sets, this one will come with its own color printed guide. And as you can see here, I'm just going to give you a little close up. So what you're going to do first is you're going to stamp this stamp first. This is the first layer of the body. And then you're going to stamp this one second. And this is going to be in your mid-tone ink. So this is your lightest ink, mid-tone ink. And then the third stamp will be in your darkest ink. And then after that, you can go on to stamp the body, you'll stamp this part first. It's more solid than this one. So you're going to want to stamp this in your lightest green and then a darker green. And then for your ruby throat, you're going to stamp this one first and then this one. And you can choose, you know, any uh, red or ruby colored inks that you have. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and stamp the first layer of the hummingbird's body in our warm hazelnut dye ink. For our second layer, we are going to stamp this in our found, oops, found topaz dye ink. So what you're going to do is you're going to line up the wings. You're going to line it up along the wings. And now with the third layer, we're going to stamp it in our aspen cocoa dye ink. Next, we're going to stamp the green feathers of our hummingbird in our soft garden dye ink. Second layer in our bright fern dye ink. Next, we're going to stamp the first layer of our bird's ruby throat in soft garnet dye ink. And the second layer of the ruby throat will be stamped with our red sangria hybrid ink. All right, the stamping is now finished. You can see that it really just comes alive with each layer that you put down. Add now, four. some finishing touches to your hummingbird. You can color in, you can color in the eye if you have a black pen and because you don't want <laughs> beady eyes just take a white gel pen and add a little dot <laughs> and this adds a nice finishing touch so and that's it for our video layering tutorial. I hope this will encourage you to pick up your set and stamp away. I don't want you to be intimidated by our hummingbird set because it really is just like fitting pieces of a puzzle together. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.